Hi y'all and welcome back. So we're going to be making some crock pot chicken tacos. You're going to be needing some boneless chicken breast. Um, Target's had a great sale on these. I found some for like five bucks you guys. And I did also find another pack of chicken breast for I think like four five dollars and some change but it was really um a great sale that targets was having and i definitely definitely love shopping um getting my grocery wise at targets so if you don't know me you guys it's andrea michelle sis that's me i'm andrea michelle and um i'm a youtuber mom that loves to cook here and there i love to clean yes honey i like to clean my house bring y'all on in here so y'all can see the mess that goes on i have an eight-year-old son that is entering into the third grade i'm so excited i am a full-time working mom and i just love to do youtube um and show you guys give you guys advice and tips and saving tricks y'all know but anyways i'm washing my chicken because i love to wash my chicken girl who wants who who has time for salmonella okay so make sure you wash your chicken i know some people don't wash their chicken and that's fine because that's in your household but in my household Girl, yes, sis and brother. I love washing my chicken. I like to have that fresh taste on chi of chicken. Um, and so I've seen also seen some of the YouTuber mothers say that they just continue to use these little packages here that I'm taking out the sink to season their chicken with so they won't make a mess, you know, something quick. But me, girl, no, no, no. I like to use my cutting board, and that's how I like to season my chicken and stuff like that. So we're going to get this camera right so y'all can see what I'm doing and see what I'm going to be using and putting on this chicken to make it taste really good and flavorful. So first, we're going to use some stone mill sea salt grinder. Um, and then we're going to go in with my black peppercorn grinder as well. If you want to know where I purchased those are, I purchased them at Aldi's. Um, and then also I found at Target, Target, Good and Gather brand sea salt garlic and herb seasoning. That's my first time using this. And then also some basil leaves. I love, love, love basil. It gives it that nice sweet taste. Um, and then also I'm going to be using from the lovely Kroger some onion soup powder. Yes, honey. And then we go in with our lovely McCormick fajita um, seasoning, which I did purchase at the local Kroger's. Then I bought some um, Tostitos restaurant style uh, salsa from Target's. Um, you guys, I love Target's. I love to shop at Target's and stuff. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and season up everything so if you guys are enjoying so far definitely go ahead and subscribe it is totally free you don't have to pay a thing and then also go ahead and hit the post notification button um so that you can get each and every of my uploads you guys i've been mia because i've been sick and um <clears throat> While we're seasoning this chicken, I can go ahead and tell you guys what was going on. I had walking pneumonia, um, and I was getting close to have COVID-19 as well. I did not get vaccinated um, due to me not trusting any of that. Um, but I did um, go to the hospital. They did um, give me um antibiotics which is working really really well with my system and then also um, my if you guys don't know I've am type 2 diabetic so I had to go up a little bit on my medication for that um so yes you guys it's been a whirlwind it has been a whirlwind for your girl um especially with the walking pneumonia um it, it, it wasn't something that I thought that I could ever get, which I know we can all get. But me as a mother, I definitely need to take care of my body, take care of my health wise, because I do have an eight year old son that I need to provide for. I need to be here and take care and see him walk across stage, honey walk off stage in in high school walk off stage in college um and so yeah i just um you know sometimes as a mother we do put ourselves in our health off but now i have to put my health on because um i've really been like really been sick you guys but anyways let's get back to this chicken um uh 
you guys see me seasoning it properly, seasoning it well. I am getting in there. I'm not scared to touch this chicken. If you are one person that doesn't like to touch chicken, definitely keep you some gloves on deck, honey, so that you can use that to marinate your chicken, okay? But me personally, I am not afraid to touch chicken. Um, you guys know that I am one of those ones that only like to eat chicken and ground turkey. Now, occasionally I will eat a steak, but I am not a red meat eater. Um, but I do like to eat healthy. I'm not going to say healthy-ish, but I'm going to say healthy. <laughs> um, and you guys, I just don't want you guys to ever be afraid to go into the store and purchase a healthy food or think that healthy food is very expensive no it's not you just got to know where to go so i want to show you um right now inside my crock pot i did put like two cups of water for my onion soup mix um this crock pot right here was gifted to me for mother's day i absolutely love it i absolutely love this crock pot i will have uh the crock pot name in the description uh, box below but this is the uh, the menu that we're having today, which is the chicken tacos. You just need salsa chicken, taco seasoning, and your crock pot. But I went the extra mile and I put extra shit in it. Just, just, just be real. I put extra shit in it. So, um, <clears throat> so we're going to put the uh, onion mix in there. And as you can see, I have these two cups of boiling water in there. Um, at first, I was... I was, y'all, I didn't even know how to work this crock pot. I didn't even have the instructions. This crock pot was literally sitting on my cabinet, not even being used. So I just decided, like, I'm going to use this. And when I tell you everything came out good, you guys will see the picture. Um, me and my boyfriend, we just absolutely love, love, love the tacos. It was so good, you guys. And the only thing I will say don't do when we come up on it, is put jalapenos in the rice. <laughs> put jalapenos in the rice. That was like, he was like, babe, that's a different taste. And I was like, babe, you can be nice all you want to, but that tastes disgusting, okay? <laughs> so find something different to put in your rice besides jalapenos. You can have jalapenos on the side. But we was just testing things out. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. But yeah, I'm going ahead and put these chicken breasts inside of this water. So my tip to you guys or whoever likes to cook with the crock pot, make sure you start your crock pot on high. And then when your chicken gets completely done, turn it on low, you can let it just marinate. You can just let it, you know, cook on its own. Like I said, this is a 30 minute meal and it was a 30 minute meal. It was already done in 30 minutes, you guys. But I left it in the crock pot for four hours because I had some errands to run. And I definitely wanted that chicken to be um, nice and tender and juicy and good and flavorful when I got back, honey. So I'm going to put the taco, the fajita seasoning inside there as well. Don't leave it on the top Don't in the um, Pinterest menu. Um, the ingredients or whatever, the lady that cooked the... Um, cook this recipe she said leave the taco season sitting on top of the chicken i was definitely not having it so i would say definitely mix it all in and up um on your chicken inside the the mixture the wet mixture because this is what's gonna make your chicken taste really good nobody wants taco seasoning just on the top no 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 so, um, just marinate it all through and in there and put your whole jar of salsa. Don't, don't be stingy. Put your whole jar of salsa and then inside that salsa jar, just a little, little tips, mamas, just, you know, um, there's going to be some extra salsa in there. Make sure you put a little bit of water, put the top back on, shake it up and get all that salsa out of there. Don't be afraid. So I'm going to go ahead and put the top on, make sure everything's secured. And then I'm going to come back and show you guys um, what the chicken looks like. When I tell you guys this, it was, oh my goodness, I cannot wait for y'all to try. So I'm going to go ahead and chop up some onion. And you guys, I love my knife set that I got from Dee Dee's. Don't sleep on Dee Dee's discount, you guys. Sometimes you find diamonds in the roof there. And I did. When I found this knife set, 
Um, previously I had bought a knife set from Walmart and I literally washed the knife set and it got dull, like literally dull. So when I went to Didi's discounts, um, and I saw these knives, I've been literally having these knives for two months compared to the Walmart knives that I had for only a week. <laughs> so don't sleep on Didi's. Make sure you look at everything in Didi's and... Um, and when it comes to like kitchen stuff, I love to get all my kitchen stuff from DD's because it lasts longer. I got these boards from DD's, I got the knife set from DD's. Um, but yes, you guys, but when you're cutting, make sure you are being safe and moving your hands um, from the knife and all that. So I'm just going to be dicing up these onions. Um, I'm not an onion dicer, I am not a chef. But I try to do what I can um, for the fam so they can eat. Um, and I try to get it done quick, y'all. Because I will literally start whining. Like, I would start crying. Tears would start rolling down my face. I'm just not one of those onion people. <laughs> so let's check on this chicken. And as you can tell, the chicken is cooking. It is sauteing like it's supposed to. Um, I put, first, like I said, I put it on high, then I put it on low, and I just wanted to let it do its thing. Now I'm just adding some onion. You can add all your onion, or you can add half your onion. I decided to use half my onion because I'm going to use the rest of the onion inside of the rice, which was really good until I put the jalapenos in. <laughs> um, so yes, but, um, go ahead and stir up your onions inside. I just, I love onions, but I don't like to cut them. And my mom always told me, girl, you need to get you one of those food processors. But, honey, I don't need all that in my kitchen. I am very min minimalist. Like, I don't want a lot of stuff in my kitchen. I want to be able to see things, okay? <laughs> but anyways, it all looks really good right now. It looks so good. <laughs> so now we're going to just go ahead and start our rice. Um, I'm just using this uh, Norris Fiesta Spanish rice. Um, these are really good by themselves, but you do have to add things to it to make it taste like, you know, like the restaurant. So I'm going to put some basil leaves in there. Um, and I'm also going to put the onion in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the onion in the water because I want to go ahead and get that, those onions to cooking. I don't know if it's called blanched onions or I don't know, but I just wanted to go ahead and start cooking and then also I'm going to add my basil leaves inside of there and then I'm just going to let them cook for just a little bit. I'm not going to be like heavily let them cooking because I, we still have to cook the rice. Inside the water I put some sea salt um, and then I also put a little oil inside of there. Um, and then let me tell you really f fast that I did cook, um, some uh, refried beans. I don't think I showed you guys that I, how I cooked them, but easily, an uh, easy tip. If you are just getting off of work and you're tired and you're a mother like me, um, put them beans inside of a container that can go inside, uh, that is microwave safe. Um, and you can put the beans inside of the microwave. I just added some, um, <clears throat> I just added some, what did I add? Some oil. And then I added some onion and just put them inside the the uh, microwave. And then I topped them off with cheese. So this, this is where I messed up, you guys. I used some of that Walmart jalapeno. I didn't use, I used two of them, but not realizing that they were hot. <laughs> so <clears throat> if you're going to do this, make sure you're you keep the jalapeno out or use a mild jalapeno, not a hot jalapeno. But it had a great taste, but it was just the jalapeno was just overpowering. The vinegar in the jalapeno was overpowering. But other than that, keep that jalapeno out of the rice. So here is the chicken all cooked up, looking good, smelling good. Y'all, when I say these smell so good, the flavors, like everything just smells so good. And you can tell that chicken is cooked because it is moving, honey. Now, earlier it wasn't moving for me like that. But yes, we got our force. We got our two force because y'all know we're about to shred it because these are shredded tacos. Now, I was having some problems shredding that taco meat up in this taco, um, the taco um, sauce. Um, so I decided to take them out, put them on a plate 
and get jiggy with it, honey. Okay. <laughs> I decided to take them and put them in the plate because that was easy for me. Do what's easy for you, mamas. Okay. And dads, do what's easy for you. For me, it was shredding chicken on a plate. You guys, I had to get the camera together so y'all can see. But y'all know how it is when you're filming and stuff don't just look right to you. I'm not editing anything out. We're just going to roll with it. We're going to just, you know, do what we do. So, um, first of all, I'm not a shred chicken, but I'm not like a one of those chefs for IDs shredding chicken, you know. So, but anyways, I like to just, I don't know. My mom, when she shred her chicken, she puts it in a food processor. I don't know why, but that's just the easiest thing for her. She says that, um, you know, old Arthur messes with her hands, so she can't stretch too much no more. Um, but I just honestly love the smell of this chicken. And so I decided just, hey, I'm going to shred this chicken with these two forks. Y'all see me tasting it. It was so, so good. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. When I say that this chicken was good... You guys are going to have a great time, either if it's date night or it's with the kids or y'all just going like to a picnic or whatever, lunch for the next day, which I did have. It is so freaking good. When I tell you that this chicken had like good flavor to it, you can add more flavor to it. You can add less flavor to it. It's how, how you want it because this is how, what you're cooking for your family, for yourself, for your date. You know, for the kids, um, it's all about for you and what y'all like. <laughs> so I'm gonna add this chicken back to the pan, um, the crock pot. I did uh, previously um, straight up the other chicken as well. Um, so I'm gonna add all this chicken. I'm not gonna leave anything behind. We need our chicken, okay? <laughs> um, so and then I'm gonna just go ahead and stir that chicken around. Let that chicken. When I tell you four hours. Like, y'all can go over four hours. I just kept it on a warm temp um, so that it wouldn't, like, burn or anything like that. I'm sure it wouldn't burn in a crock pot. But I, like I said, I left it for four hours. And when I tell you this chicken was not, like, some hard type of chicken where you eat chicken and it's just, like, so hard. No, honey. This chicken was so good and it was juicy and it was flavorful and it was... It was just everything. And I cannot wait to make another meal in this crock pot. I cannot wait, y'all. So make sure y'all subscribe, turn on all post notifications, and have a beautiful, blessed day.